Preparations are underway for the final races on the island before the Grand Prix moves back to downtown Detroit. So let's get live to Nick Monticelli. He's out on Belle Isle with more on what's in store for this year. You look relaxed. You look tan, ready. Everything's ready to go. I'm relaxed because you have to have that motivation and that kind of persona before you go and steal a hilo and start setting things up. We'll see if they let me do anything. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to Belle Isle. Welcome to the Detroit Chevrolet Grand Prix, as you mentioned, Jason, for the last time ever on Belle Isle. There's a whole lot of activity behind me. Trucks, forklifts, silos. There are crews moving things all over the place. Take a look at this time lapse, though. It's been interesting to see what the setup started like early this morning. In fact, right at midnight is when the crews started moving in to take care of this. So again, this is actually the last time this will be here. Then the race moves downtown, and this is the first time since 2019 that the race has been here because of the pandemic. Those that are organizing this, it is amazing, the logistics. It's like a mini city gets built here because they have to bring in all the crews, all the barriers, all the fencing, all the crowd control, all of the platforms and the risers, the grandstands. And then you got to talk about bathrooms and internet access. It, honest to God, is like a mini city they built right here on Belle Isle. But there's so much anticipation because A, we haven't had it in a couple of years, and B, they want to go out with the bang. They want to make sure that the last time they're on this aisle is a great experience. It's going to be the first year, obviously, since 2019 that we've really had a full opportunity to do an event on Belle Isle with all the things that all the fans are used to there. All the grandstands are back. You know, the Meyer fan zone is going to be back in full. We have a new area over by the fountain, the James Scott Memorial Fountain that's so beautiful. Uh, that's going to be a lot of fun for all of our fans. So uh, we're really excited to to you know to, to wind it down on Belle Isle in the right way. Yeah, there you go, winding it down in the right way. So uh, one thing to keep in uh, in mind though that even though the crews are here and even though the setup has begun, the aisle isn't shut off to the public. You can still drive right on here and enjoy the beautiful scenery and walk around and take some pictures at the fountain, which is actually happening behind me. You can go get engaged. Ask your fiance to marry you right over there by the zoo if you want to. You still have access for a few more weeks until things have to shut down for safety reasons to get things going. In the meantime, my friend Jason Carr, do you think they'll give me a forklift or a bulldozer? I mean, I want to drive something around. Put on a safety vest. See if you can pull it off. <laughs> you just put a hat, put a hat on. They never ask any questions. I have a better idea. Why don't you marry some of those newly those uh, engaged people, <laughs> Pastor Nick? <laughs> Thank you. Good to see you.